welcome to Veritas. My name is Marcus Agoker. I am the project manager of Veritas. Veritas is a soft X-ray, inelastic X-ray scattering beamline. The beamline also has an open port for other experimental stations. The source of the beamline is an undulator, an elliptically polarizing undulator, which means that we have a horizontal, vertical, and circular polarization. The beamline covers the 275 EV to 1500 EV energy range. Now let's head over to the experimental stations and I'll show you what we have. This is the open port here at Veritas that is available for roll-up stations that can be brought by users or from internal parts of the MAX4. It has a one meter exit arm with a nominal five by 15 micron focus, but it's only 55 centimeters from the exit flange to the focus point, which has to be in, taken into consideration when designing a roll-up station for this uh, port. We have power and water cooling available at the beamline, but the rest of the equipment has to come with the experimental station. This port is now available for users in the call. The Riksend station here at Veritas has been developed and manufactured in a collaboration between Max4 and Uppsala University. The heart of the experimental station is the Q chamber. This is a specifically designed vacuum chamber that will allow a continuous rotation around a sample of plus minus 60 degrees. The chamber is also equipped with an MCP-based fluorescence and electron yield detector. The detector is also equipped with two individual meshes that can be used to filter different particles. On top of the chamber, we have the ultra-high stability manipulator, which has also been specifically developed for this beamline. It accepts a 58 millimeter sample rod attached to a CF63 flange. We currently have four different sample environments for these rods which we will have a closer look at. Here at Veritas, we currently have four different types of experimental environments. So I'll first introduce you to our liquid jet setup. As mentioned, it's a CFC 63 flange with a 58 millimeter tube. And at the end, we have the experimental environment. This is a micro liquids uh, microjet uh, with a 30 micrometer nozzle and about uh, 0.5 milliliter per second flow rate. Apart from this, experimental setup, we have also a very simple general purpose uh, manipulator. So instead of the liquid jet, we have a, a sample holder with three places that are isolated so that we can measure drain current and three places that are connected to a copper plate, which we can cool with a liquid nitrogen bath. If we need more uh, temperature control or go further down in temperature, we have a closed cycle helium cryostat from cold edge with a temperature control down to five Kelvin at the sample plate. We also have a flow cell where we can separate the sample environment from the vacuum with very thin uh, windows made of silicon nitride or carbon. We can also use this cell for gas or gas solid interaction measurements. There are several other experimental environments under development that will be available in the future. The main instrument here at Veritas is a 10 meter long Roland type X-ray spectrometer. It's operated in a slitless mode, which means that we're using the beam focus as the source for the optics. It's currently equipped with a 1200 line per millimeter grating that covers 250 to 650 EV in first order. 500 to 1300 EV is covered with second order diffraction. This will later be upgraded with two new gratings so that we can cover all the way up to 950 EV in first order. In the spectrometer, we have several detector systems. The first one is the zero order detector sitting at the position of the zero order reflection from the grating. In this way, we can monitor the beam position in front of the spectrometer. This will be used for diagnostics and alignment. Then we have the main detector system sitting in this sled at the back of the system. This is an MCP based delay line detector that is coupled to the ring structure, so we can do time gating and reduce background noise. We can also input external trigger events to the detector to do time resolved measurements. This instrument is under commissioning, but it will be available to users soon. For further information, please visit the Max4 webpage.